गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम टीचिंग चैप्टर 17 स्टार्स एंड द सोलर सिस्टम स्टार्स एंड सोलर सिस्टम सन इज द नियरेस्ट स्टार फॉर अस ऑन अर्थ एंड इट इज बिलीव दैट द सन वॉज बॉर्न फाइव बिलियन ईयर्स मीन्स फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ ईयर्स एगो एंड इट हैज बीन एमिटिंग अ ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ हीट एंड लाइट एंड इज इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू डू द सेम फॉर एन अदर फाइव बिलियन ईयर्स एंड द सन एलॉन्ग विद द एट प्लेनेट्स एंड देयर मूनस कॉन्स्टिट्यूट द सोलर सिस्टम and in addition to the planets and their moons other heavenly bodies have been found to revolve around the sun and they are asteroids comets meteors let us study up more about them asteroid the small pieces of rocks or metal which revolve around the sun in between the orbits the mars and jupiter are called the asteroids and it meaning star like or minor planets asteroids are not visible to the unaided eye with the help of microscope you can see uh, sorry telescope not with the help of microscope with the help of telescope you can see they are of varying size and the largest being ceres which is c uh, which is 633 km in diameter and there are two schools of thought in the formation of asteroids according to one school these are original rocks and the metal chunks which failed to form a planet which uh, which other when other planets were formed in the solar system and according to the second school of thought they are the debris of a planet which collided with the moon of the jupiter comets the bright star like objects with a long tail approaching the sun in a highly elliptical orbit are called comets the brightest star like object is commonly called the head of the comet and it consists of frozen water along with dust and rocks and when the comets approaches the sun the ice and the gases along with dust change to form gaseous matter which appears in the form of long tail and the tail of comet always points away from the sun because of the pressure of solar radiations that is the solar wind and the tail of comet may be as long as 800 million kilometers and the time period of revolution of the comets around the sun is very long and there are some comets which appear after fixed intervals of time and such comets are called the periodic comets unlike planets the comets do not last forever in the solar system it is because as they approach the sun they lose a good amount of their mass in the form of gases and small chunks of rocks meteors the bright star like object which appear suddenly in the sky and after that for a few uh, few moments glow with a brilliant white flash of light falling <coughs> towards the earth and finally disappear are called the meteors meteorites it is meteor is too big and fails to burn completely in the atmosphere then a part of reaches then a part of it reaches to the surface of the earth what is the difference between a star and a planet a star a stars have their own light and planets do not have their own light a stars produce their own energy due to the fusion of hydrogen and planets do not produce their own energy a stars appear to twinkle at night planets do not twinkle at night a stars have enormous mass planets have insignificant mass compare 
to the stars and stars do not change their relative position in the sky every day but planets change their position in the sky every day on a daily basis and stars appear to move from east to west in the sky planets appear to rotate from the west to east except venus in the sky what is the difference between star and a shooting star meteor shooting star that is a meteor star the material of the stars mostly consists of hydrogen and helium and shooting star that is a meteor the material of a shooting star is mostly made of rocks metal and dust and stars produces heat energy and light energy due to the fusion of hydrogen and shooting star produces heat energy and light energy due to the friction of the earth's atmosphere stars are extremely big and the shooting stars are very small pieces of rocks stars last for billion of years and the shooting stars last for a few seconds what is the artificial satellite artificial satellites are man made satellites they are launched from the earth into the space by powerful rockets and they are different from the natural satellite of the earth it is different from the natural satellite uh, that is the moon and they revolve around the earth at a very close distance as compared to the moon and they packed with a large number of scientific devices artificial satellites have many practical applications and they are used for casting weather in the transmission of radio telephone and television signals they are used in global positioning system for all kinds of navigation russia was first country to launch world's first artificial satellite in october 1957 called the sputnik india has built and launched several artificial satellite arvita was the first indian satellite some other satellites are irs insat edu sat kalpana etc so this is all about the artificial satellites and some oral questions are given from page number 234 you have to do with yourselves what is the shooting star same as the meteor what is the star giant balls of fusing hydrogen or helium which use amount of heat and light which emit huge amount of heat and light what is asteroids the small piece of rocks or metal which revolve around the sun in between the orbits of mars and jupiter celestial bodies bodies such as the earth and the moon the planet the sun the star and the comets etc comets the bright star like object with a long tail approaching the sun in a highly elliptical orbit light year the distance travel by light in one year what is a meteor a bright star like object which suddenly appear in the sky and then for a few moments streak in the form of a brilliant flash towards the earth meteoroids the unburned pieces of meteor which reaches the surface of the earth natural satellites the celestial body bodies revolving around the planets orbit the path along which celestial bodies revolve around the sun or other celestial bodies what is the phases of moon the waxing and waning of the disk of the moon as it revolve around the earth planets the celestial bodies which revolve around the sun in well defined orbit so chapter 15 some natural phenomena question answers i have given you have to write and uh, artificial satellites that is the uh, that chapter 17 stars and the solar system completed and this will come in annual examination uh, and uh, so uh, Uh, you will take a revision of this chapter and other i have given in the study notes i have given in the study materials and so you have to write from there from the study material and uh, i th- and uh, you have to complete all the chapters in the gsc copy in the study material from the study material you can write and uh, only and this chapter 17 i will give you later and till now you will take revision of this chapter you have you will read and uh, how much activity is there you will take revision of that activity also so this is all about chapter 
and is uh, notes you can write from the study material